Good morning everyone. Um, welcome to day three of the Stay at Home Art Club. Today we're going to be doing um, some simple still lifes inspired by the Scottish colourist um, Cadell, um, who's just here. Have a look. So that was the guy, that's what he looked like. He's most famous for quite flat paintings of rich ladies, like this one. But today we're going to be looking at his still life work, which is in quite a similar style using very um, flat colour. Um, he did a lot of quite oriental interiors because that was what was in vogue at the time. Um, he didn't do much shading, there's not too much detail in them, um, and there's lots of nice diagonal lines across the composition. So I'll show you a few of them now. Yeah, so they're really nice and bright. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can either copy one of those, talk you through the basics, so you can pause it and draw one of them. Um, I'm also going to show you how to set up a still life in your own home, some kind of important bits if you've got anything nice you really want to draw, and I've also taken some pictures that you can work from if you'd rather do that. So I'll show you the pictures I've set up. I've got one that's kind of got jazzy objects, and then I've got one that's made of bog standard household stuff and I'd appreciate it if you didn't look too close to me at my tea towels because they are a bit dirty. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to show you how to set up a little still life at home. So the important things for an interesting still life for working in this style are one, getting some fabric. I've got some grotty tea towels um, and it's important that you've got some going towards you, some going behind you as a background. Yeah, that's what that's called. Um, I like to have them kind of coming diagonally across because that creates a nice sense of perspective perspective. Again, I'm um, talking about creating both height and depth. A nice large tall object is really useful. This is my split peas I've had for years and never eat. Um, so I've got a tall thing, a smaller thing, a turnip. For the turnip I've gone for a bit of contrast. The purple bit is on the yellow bit and the yellow bit is on the purple bit. Bit of interest there. Some Lemsip Max for a bit of pop of colour. Um, a phone charger because that's got a nice windy shape and then last but not least a classic can at the front and um, so I'd, I'd get yourself I'd say minimum three maximum five objects um, and some sort of a thing for a background and remember it doesn't need to fill the whole space because we can kind of use our imaginations and extend bits okay so go and find yourself some nice little items and try and lay them out so some are in front, some are behind, some are taller and some are smaller. Okay. All right, let's get cracking. Stage one, we're going to draw in our background shapes so that shapes of the fabric, shapes of any background of bits that things are sitting on. So I'm going to be drawing in really thick lines. You're going to try and draw as thinly as possible because you'll notice in a lot of Cadell stuff there's no outlines around everything. So I'm going to draw them really thick, but um, please don't copy that. You make yours quite light. I'm just going to switch to a different pencil over for this one. Lovely. So I'm going to start with the outlines of my fabric. I'm going to be doing the jazzy object one just to show you how to get on with that one. So I'm going. A line there for some fabric, a line there for some fabric, middle one comes to about there, comes across and down, so that's my yellow bit, got some blue there, comes out like a triangle, 
and then across. Okay, so that's roughly how my piece is looking. It's not 100%, but that's good enough for now. So I've got my background shapes for my fabric. Step number two is I'm going to block in my objects. Okay, so I'm going to be just drawing the general shapes. They're not going to be exact, but they'll be there or thereabouts. Okay, so I'm going to start with the, the big lamp, which comes up to about here. It's crossing over between my blue and my yellow fabric. That comes down to, top bit just comes down to just below the bottom fabric. Like that. And then that comes down to about, about there. So some of my proportions are a bit off, but I'll correct them later. It's not super important. My vase is just beside that. So that's about there. Again, just the general shape. And there's some flowers in there, so I'm just going to draw a vague shape for where the flowers are. I've got a lemon. Lemon's about there. And I've got my bowl. Which is about there. So that's all the detail you're going for in your first section. I've tidied it up a little bit now. So I've got my background lines, I've got my general shapes. It's now that I'm going to start adding in a few more details. So I'm going to look a bit more at my lamp and put in the lines where all the metal work is like that so getting in the windows getting in any pattern on my vase so i've got this nice green swoosh got some brown swooshes as well i might put in some of the leaves i'm going to draw that's some of the leaves of my flowers. I've got some more there. Sticks. I've got lots of little white circles. So I'm going to draw some of those in. Not all of them. Even out the shape of my lemon and put the pattern on my bowl. I'm going to do that just now as well. I've got lines around the back. So any big decorative details so I'm not talking shading I'm not talking little fiddly bits just little bits of detail that you're wanna, gonna want to colour in okay all right so I've got all my little details in okay and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding colour so you can either use paint or a pen or pencils I'm gonna go for some oil pastels that's what i'm going to go for so mine's going to be a bit less detailed because it's hard to get lots of detail with them and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to rub out a lot of my lines because otherwise my graphite is going to get into my oil pastel and it's going to look all messy so i'm going to rub out these lines and then i'm going to fill in the main background sections okay all right, I've got my background blocked in and you can see what I mean by block is it's all just block colour. I haven't done any shading and the most technical thing I've done is these tassels, which you don't need to bother doing, to be honest. I just thought they're really nice. Um, so I've left spaces for all my objects and I haven't bothered putting any of the folds or any of the pattern. I'm just doing the basic background colour. It's also not... 100% the colour that the objects are but it's the closest colour I have and I think having the one colour all the same all over that I've been trying to mix um, gives it a really good effect. Okay so the next step is we're gonna block in our objects. Okay. Here you go I've blocked in my objects here so I've done the broad details so I haven't put too much on here, just the red and the brown, just the colours here. I've simplified these flowers out a bit, just some leaves and some dots. 
just the pattern on this bowl and just yellow for the lemon. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add any of the big pattern you'd like to put in. You can put in as little as much, little or as much as you'd like. You could leave it just like this. I quite like it like this, but we'll have a go at adding the pattern. Here we go. Here's the piece with all the finished detail. I put in the pattern, but very roughly. It doesn't need to be as intricate as anything that you've got in front of you. Done a little bit of shading on here, a little bit of the detail on the on the lid. Yeah, I'm quite I'm quite pleased with that. I would maybe recommend pencils rather than oil pastels. Um, I'm I hate oil pastels, so that was quite a challenge. Um, but if you've got pencils or paint, um, I think this could be a really good one. All right, so what I'll do next is I'll post some of the the pictures with the main steps written beside it, the blocking in of the background, general shapes, ow, big details, <laughs> I just put myself in the eye, big details, um, blocking colour and adding final detail. Okay. Alright everyone, I hope you have a bit of fun with that. Don't take it too seriously, just try and create some nice colourful pictures. Um, and I'll see you on tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm going to finish with my joke. Okay, so today's joke is, why don't ants get sick? Because they have antibodies oh, so good um okay so i'll see you soon uh stay safe and watch your hands